come today to Rebecca's Bistro. This has become Dina's favorite restaurant to eat at in Berlin. Um, you can get my noodles and mashed potatoes today because the Amish restaurant across the street is closed, but this works out really well because she loves it here. It was excellent. It was the grilled cheese sandwich with the potato soup. I didn't even slow down to take a picture of it. It was so good. <laughs> Mine either. It was so good. We're gonna try to go around and see some more things in Amish country. If you uh, check our other videos, you'll see some of these places that we're not gonna return to because we've been there. Plus, it's we've already put it on video. We don't wanna um, do it again, you know, but we're after just some food for an RV. We don't have much food left and we have all next week to camp. So we're going to try to get that and where Dwayne's gone in to get a container that we can put ice in it and we can store because we have um, food left over from Rachel's. It's so good, but it's just so much food. There's no way we can eat all that. So we'll be eating on that for a couple days as well. But this is just, it's really hazy out here. It was last night, um, as you can see from some of the some of the video we were trying to video some of the farms it's i don't know if this is haze from canada or what but um there's some alerts out for people that are not real healthy with their lungs and so it's just sort of it's not a clear day but it's still really pretty it's still sunny and warm and so it's just a great day and i worked today till noon i work at the hospital real close to here and I do uh, labor and deliver Amish babies. So that's a, a different um, group of people that I had when I did labor and delivery in Columbus several years ago. So very, very fun. These, are, these people are so amazing. They're nice, they're kind. So I enjoy taking care of them in the hospital. So or we really wanted you to see the, the farms. And then you think, well, those aren't Amish farms, they're English farms. Oh, a lot of them are Amish farms. Um, they either inherit it from their family or they work them. But they, um, if you see a lot of horses around, it's Amish. And sometimes you have to look. And sometimes you'll see, last night we saw a truck at one of them and all the Amish were sitting around because it was Sunday. And they get together every two weeks. They have church every two weeks. And um, I asked the Amish one of the Amish patients today if everybody has church service the same week or you know because they have it every other week and she said no sometimes it depends on where you what group you're in where you live and I think she they said they had church last night so that's why we saw so many people gathering together and just sitting and talking and she said that's what they did last night they just had all their family together and they just all sat around so um, I think they do a lot right that they call us English Englishers that we don't do we just some families do gather but um, we're scattered our family scattered all over the country so you think I probably have some
really added on just since I've been here last year. Here's the new addition. I want to walk with you this morning at Evergreen RV Park, and it's a great day to walk. It's a little chilly, but it's a great day. A little cloudy here. Just a little. It's a nice big umbrella. We've been here before a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. You want to hook up your horse right here? Do you want to look at them again? Yeah. Layman's is a family owned and has been operating since 1955. They are here to help you live a more simple life. Their hardware store offers creative solutions for cooking, gardening, heating with wood, and have non-electric lighting and more. It is a destination to itself when you visit Amish country. It's an old 40-something Dodge pickup truck right there. The foreshadowing of the Ram pickup truck. Is that what you want? Yep. You don't put that in your garage? Mm-hmm. Are you? You get it? No, I'm not going to get it. You know what I just thought about? Are we camping people? Oh, we're camping people. Then we need this blanket. I want one of those. My grandmother had one. Something similar. You're supposed to bring it. So this is a dud. This is a dud. Not a dud. It's just determined. <laughs> now what? We see if she wants to take a baseball. 
A man and his dog. Wait. This is my dog? This is my dog? You're taking my dog? It looks like it. We'll give you one. <laughs> so what do you think about Evergreen? Evergreen is a really nice campground. Um, the folks in the front do everything they can to be very oh, hospitable. They really are. <laughs> um, they go over and above to do things for you. And the sites are really nice. And we've been here a couple of times and it's consistent. Uh, it's a little bit of a drive to Berlin and to surrounding communities, but it does kind of put you in the middle of the very places you want to get to while you're here. Well, Lehman's is right down, not too far. Yeah, Lehman's less than five miles away. And so, it's really a, a good good place we come back to. Mm -hmm. We come back here. Oh, yeah. At it. We hooked up really, really well. And that is just wonderful. And then I came back to the car to get in to check something and somebody had locked the doors on me. In the truck? <laughs> in the truck. Oh, Stella. Stella. But thankfully, we had had dogs prior who taught us to always keep a window down for, for that very do. thing. <laughs> Our dogs have said that. And so that would have made for an interesting time this morning, would it? Because we did so well hooking up. First time. First time. Ever. Ever. With 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 the galley watching with people us. people watching us. And it slipped right in. And so we're doing so great. And Stella's like, let me just do this. So now we're off to our next destination.